Oh, swap back to Nico. Now, Nico was hot fixed to a big nerf to the on hit build, which is what everyone was spamming. But yeah. since a lot of the pros were spamming a lot of time on the champion during that uh, stint where she had extremely high attack speed and extra damage on the W, they still have put in a lot of time on Nico and the AP Nico nice. and does have good poke damage. The root got a very nice buff for Nico. Uh, it's so long now. It's a lot easier to use. Yeah, it's long, has better effectiveness on all minions that it passes through and everything as well. So check back in on Darshan, see what he goes with. But I see a pressy attack. Yup, that so, is indicating on uh, hit. Wiggly. He's, he's keeping his camps all banked on this blue side and looking for a gate. Oh, they're going in on the side of CLG, looking to find the kill on this van to start things off. Wiggly gonna be taken Ooh. very low. First blood over the side of CLG is a one for one. Double buffs go over to Smoothie. That, that was has a very to be respectful. Acadian one camp behind Wiggly in terms of overall EXP. Teleport gonna be channeled now by TSM, recognizing they need to do something to ward away this dive. Yerkson making his way on. down. But uh, yeah, no Nocturne ulti coming through on that one. Well, they might fight over this Rift Arrow. They've got a rotation from the supports and the AD carries here. Oh, it's Did gonna be a bloodbath. Let's see what happens here. Root thrown out. Smoothie caught up in the that patient. one. Shelly has had enough of this garbage. Oh, She's waiting. They, they, don't, they don't have six A though, and they're getting collapsed upon. TSM coming in to start this one off. Smoothie goes in, looking for the pulverizer, the headbutt. Gonna be taken kind of low here. Wiggly gonna be trapped now as the damage comes through. And Finn's able to grab a kill. He pulls the support into safety as they also rotate the top laners now into the fight. Power of Evil's taken down next. And TSM have found two kills. Fatal error here from CLG. They move up with four people and TSM collapsed with all five. They get the kill first. We'll see if they want to make a fight for this, but Smoothie still has no Alistair ultimate. Bjergsen no Lissandra ultimate either. And with those tools not available, that means TSM doesn't want to go for the fight here just yet. CLG looking to start uh -oh. things off though. There goes the calling, and he'll take him down. Yeah, Smoothie, that's too uh -oh. time to get clear. Stick stays here, but he's still got Wiggly hanging around, but Wiggly's now in some trouble. Tries to get himself away, but he's going to be punished, and that back felt pretty greedy from CLG. Caught with the CLG, this could be a big collapse. Wiggly, Stixa, all going to be bunched up here on the ramp. It's TSM going in, looking to find the damage, able to find the kill almost immediately on the Stixa. Biofrost going to be target number two now. The damage coming through, not quite finishing him off. CLG will disengage. Impressive farm lead over his opponent. Blade. Died quite a few times here as well. Broken Blade taking a lot of damage from Darshan. <laughs> These autos and roots coming out, forcing out the Hemo Plague from the Crimson Reaper. As Broken Blade's gonna have to just take the opportunity to heal for up. TSM. Wiggly died multiple times here for CLG despite getting that farm advantage through his early game lead that he got through top side there, forcing Acadian away and getting those crabs. As Smoothie now gonna be eating some damage coming out from Stick Say. The oh, pull calling nearly my. finds him, but Sven with the clutch save. Yeah, he eats a lot of them right they there. Don't wanna leave him to have to deal with that nocturne if they can help it. Acadian once again moving towards this bottom side, and there, there you it go. Is. It's Darshan in some trouble. Look at the damage Acadian's able to do, flashing after him. He's able to get the fear. Pop Blossom comes down, but it will not matter. See you later, little Nico. The burn almost oh. does it. Oh, the Hemo play is down. And Acadian says, I'm not giving you the fadeaway kill. I I did all the work. I'm keeping TSM pinned in this. There's five TSM members mid. Smoothie loses half of HP to Wiggly, but now Wiggly might be in some trouble. Goes into the ulti, trying to buy himself some time. Stasis now going to be following that one up. Biofrost and Stixay coming in to keep the jungler alive. Broken Blades there. Sanguin pool into the tides of blood, and Bjergsen grabs the kill. Wiggly taken out. Smoothie taken very low, but CLG's in some trouble. TSM are fighting health bars all over the place. It's Bio down. It's Power of Evil into the stasis. It's Darshan not able to buy the time. Power of Evil's out of there, and there comes TSM. They have done it. That is a full ace for TSM, and that means Baron plus Infernal Drake, they can take their pick. What? Don't get another chance at that one. We always hype up how, how, how hard it is to execute a split push. 4-1, the, the four players in mid have a very difficult job of not getting engaged upon yeah. while you're getting your split push pressure. You cannot overextend. Here's how it happens. Wiggly goes in on the smoothie, trying to chunk out this Alistar, but hey, buddy, you've been able to chunk down this support. Got friends. You've got no friends around you to follow up. And even with the stopwatch, Broken Blade flanks around the outside. He's able to cut it off. Bjergsen slides in for the kill. And with that, 
TSM also forced to teleport from Darshan. Then they follow up the hard engage. Grixon still had his ultimate. Akkadian went right in there on the Nocturne, and the Guardian Angel is going to bring him back up. Sven kites around the edge of the plop. Pop! Blossom. <laughs> Very effectively there, and they finish off the dive. And there Force is to be the record. With. Such a fine push and pull. Two compositions like this. And right now, oh, the push is the, getting pulled. The push from TSM onto that split pusher yet again. Paranoia comes through. Dustblade on Nocturne means even more. CLG in just a moment. But for the time being, they can push down this mid lane tier two. Demolish proc is going to help Bjergsen do that. One more auto attack will make it happen. Broken Blade is the guy CLG is trying to jump on, but he's immediately turning around with some damage onto Wiggly. He's blown up before he's able to keep himself alive with the stasis. That's a pretty big kill coming out now for CLG. Can they find anything more? Winter's Bite tags Acadian, but TSM disengage in time. Are at the door. TSM going in, Bjergsen in the back line, starting things off, looking to go after that enemy AD carry. Acadian's got the damage, shutdown, credit finding power of evil. Wiggly drops here now too, and that is gonna be three dead for CLG. Stixa barely getting himself away. What door? A double kill for Sven. There's no door, they blew a hole in the damn wall, and TSM will likely push for the win. Yeah, they've got a couple of towers to clean up with no minions. They went so far into this one. Broken Blade will go back to deal with him. TSM may not have the time to actually end the game, right here, but they will go for the inhibitor and then get themselves back. All right, on the flip side here, Darshan does get attacked, broken play. Ah, stasis, it's a tricky thing. It is. Will he go for a re-engage? I mean, he's tricky. kind of tricky, Vladimir. Oh, what's you? going on? Bjergsen's in the enemy base. CLG taking the Baron down very low. They're able to secure that one for themselves, but now can they get out in time? TP gonna be used from Bjergsen. TSM coming in for the fight. CLG trying to get away. One teleport is completed, but nobody else is able to get back. Darshan left. Power of Evil grabs the kill. Instantly re kidding with a broken blade. Sven goes on a rampage. Bjergsen grabbing a killing spree down onto Stixay. Three dead for CLG, one in retreat. And Darshan just took his exit. CLG do get the Baron at the cost of three members and attempt to do it with the four members of TSM running through the top side. And that is going to be another inhibitor down. And inhibitor down, top lane, inhibitor exposed, mid lane. Nexus turret potentially under fire now. TSM with everybody except for Broken Blade who can join the fight with a TP in 15 seconds. Darshan trying to buy some time. Sven going to be taking low. Nexus turret number one is already gone. Bjergsen needs one more hit to take down number two. There it goes. Smoothie going in, able to find the CC. Look at the damage coming through from TSM. Darshan going to be kept alive only for a moment. The roots are coming through. Sven goes into the stasis, keeping himself alive as Smoothie's going in to buy some more time. Sven gets away, and here comes Broken Blade. CLG will continue trying to defend. It's Smoothie down next. Broken Blade goes into the Sanguine Pool, barely getting himself out of that one. Acadian pops paranoia, but it's only to disengage. TSM will take the final inhibitor on their way out, but they still cannot take the next. Yes, yeah, CLG are going to chase him out of the base. Blow this guy up. Yes, he's got a big health pool, but there's no resistances on this Vladimir, so he's very vulnerable to the damage from the Syndra. We saw him blow him up in that fight outside the Baron Pit after CLG took that one before he was able to do anything again with the stasis or the pool, but it's just not enough so far. CLG still down 6,000 gold. They've got one Infernal at least. And you know what's very ineffective? Split pushing when super minions are inside your base. Very difficult oh, to get a lot of value. Smoothie's going in. Here comes your fight. They're able to find a lot of damage down onto Power of Evil at the start, and that is surely exactly what they need. It's two kills over to TSM. Make it three. The claw comes out. Six A runs back. Wiggly's back into the fountain now as well. And the streak continues. TSM take down CLG. Quick engages from TSM. Turning this one around from CLG's early lead. Quick engages, good flanks. Bjergsen always being there to make sure he's locking down that back line, applying some pressure in the mid game when things were pretty tumultuous when CLG had that advantage. And for a while, it looked like CLG had the game plan. But again, as you said, Nocturne, such an effective champion at shutting that down. And there was no way for CLG to get it off the ground the way things were going. Yeah, not able to keep track of the members of TSM for that collapse around the Rift Herald play in mid lane, then not able to track the wards in their